Tiny. Jake, what can the one who betrayed do to not slip into shame, thus making it difficult to empathize with his partner? Okay, here's how I coach guys on this. You see what's going on in her. You see her pain. You see her fear, her anger, her whatever it is. You see how her eyes are like that. You see how she's shaking. You see how she's cowering. You see how she's crying. Whatever the cue is, you see that. What do you feel in your body? Okay, you feel shame. Where do you feel that? In your gut. What does it make you want to do? Run away. Curl up into a ball. Collapse. Die. Step off a curb in front of a bus. Heard that all. All of that. Okay. That's what the shame makes you want to do. And then here's what I have them do if they're in my office. Look her in the eye and tell her, I'm going to choose you over my shame. What? Is that possible? It's absolutely possible. Here's what you do. I want to connect with you more than I want to give into this shame. So what would that look like? Well, if the shame makes me want to collapse and pull away, I'm going to sit up, look up, look at you, give you my eyes, and I'm going to lean in. When I move my body and do the opposite of what the shame says to do, then suddenly the shame begins to get starved and I've broken past it. I'm doing something different and it feels good. It feels good.